This time around we have a simpler equation x cube plus qx plus r equals to 0. And we need to find out an equation whose roots are beta minus gamma whole square, gamma minus alpha whole square, alpha minus beta whole square. Now how to go about it? Now we are given that alpha, what is given to us? Alpha, beta, gamma are roots of roots of x cube plus qx plus r equals to 0, okay? So, hence I know that the sum of the roots equals to, I do not have any coefficient for x square, so this means that the sum equals to 0 and I know that alpha, beta, gamma equals to minus r, okay? So, x, x equals to beta minus alpha whole square, okay, if my x equals to beta minus alpha whole square or the new, uh, you know, equation, then this can be written as beta plus gamma whole square minus 4 beta gamma, right? Just using the property of a plus b whole square and trying to get a minus b whole square, which will equal to alpha square because alpha beta gamma, alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to 0. So, uh, gamma plus beta equals to minus alpha and hence I can write it as alpha square and this will be nothing but you have minus 4 beta gamma. Now, beta gamma beta gamma from here will be equal to beta gamma will be equal to minus r by alpha, right? So, here I can write instead of minus, now I will have a plus because I have minus r. So, we have 4 r by alpha, right? So, this means that this implies that what do I have? I have alpha q plus alpha q minus alpha x plus 4 r equals to 0. Let me just now mark my equation so that we have all the equations marked properly. So this is my number 1. This is my number 2. Okay. What else? Now this is my number 3. This cubic is my number 3. Now since I know that alpha is a root of 1 which is my original equation. So what does that mean? That means I can just replace x by alpha. So I have alpha q plus alpha q plus r equals to 0. This becomes my number 4. If we subtract, now I have I have two equations in terms of similar terms. Okay, I have two equations in similar terms. So what I can do, I can just subtract subtract say 4 from 3. What will I have? Alpha cube, alpha cube will get cancelled out and what I will be left with is minus alpha x plus q plus 3r equals to 0. Okay. And this will give me that alpha equals to 3r by x plus q. Okay. Let me just substitute this value substitute substitute back in 4 okay let's let me just substitute back here the value of alpha so what I have is 3 r by x plus q whole q plus alpha is 3r upon x plus q into q 
plus r equals to 0. Right? So I have this. Now just open it up. Let's just open it up. What will we get? We will get 27 r cube plus 3 r cube x plus q whole square by taking LCM all throughout x plus q whole cube equals to 0. So this will give me x plus q whole q plus 3 q x plus q square plus 27 r q r square equals to 0 because r can be taken out common right each term has an r so r is taken out common and this is what i will get once you open it up open all the cubes you will get x cube plus 6 q x square plus 9 q square x plus 27 r square plus 4 q q equals to 0 and that is my new equation that is my new cubic equation using the using all the given information that is my new equation i can write it in terms of x or or y okay if you want so we can write it in terms of y also that's what is my new equation it's just that i think i started off by taking y as the uh, x as the root instead of y this time so x is one and the same thing plus 4 q q equals to 0 and my constant term is basically this. This is my constant term. So I have a cubical line.